3 AD pro hormone blood work test results. I now have back the results of Simon's three week 3 AD experiment where he took 50 milligrams twice per day. That's a total of 100 milligrams per day. We got blood work done before the 3 day AD experiment on September 24th, 2020. And after he stopped taking the 3 AD on October 14th, 2020, about three weeks. The most shocking thing was a 143% increase in total testosterone. And I'm gonna get into more detail about these numbers, but I couldn't believe that was the case because we assumed that 3AD would be suppressive to some extent. Uh, I thought it was gonna be very, very, uh, very, a little bit of suppression and Canadian Trevor thought it would be a lot more suppressive because it is highly anabolic. The body does recognize it for purposes of building muscle as testosterone, but it shouldn't show up on a test as testosterone, meaning I wouldn't think that the 3AD, the 3AD itself is not going to show up on a testosterone test as testosterone, or it shouldn't. So it's causing the body, we think, to produce more of its own natural testosterone, almost a 43% increase from 579 NG per DL of testosterone to 829.97, almost 830 for total testosterone. Free testosterone also went up 44%. Estrogen went up 20%, which is actually a good thing for building muscle. We do want estrogen to increase in a certain ratio to testosterone and it increased in the perfect amount for muscle building. Then we had SHBG, almost no increase, just 6%. Uh, the liver impact was not significant at all. Um, we had three liver tests, AST, ALT, and GGT. We had a 10% and a 13% increase in AST and ALT, which can be a, from a million different things. Diet, uh, it's such a small increase, it's not significant. It doesn't show any liver toxicity. And then the most accurate test for liver toxicity, GGT, the liver actually is healthier after the 3AD. We had uh, the, the level afterwards was 86% of what it was before. So we had some 20 something percent increase in liver function. But see, that's just a normal amount of fluctuation for the liver. It's not really significant. It's nothing like we would see with, with steroids. Also curious was the increase in the immune response. Now this could be because he got a cold or a flu or um, his body's just fighting any kind of small infection. We see this small increase in immune function. I highly doubt it has anything to do with the 3AD, but I'll tell you that he had a 16% a, a increase in platelets, 20% increase in lymphocyte, 15% uh, increase in white blood cells, and another type of uh, white blood cell, 50% increase. But again, these are not these are not really significant, and these are probably the result of, of just environmental factors at the time of the second test. If we got him tested again, uh, it would probably come down, or if he maybe if he slept a little longer or something. But these testosterone results and the estrogen results are extremely significant. I'm still trying to figure out, and that's why we're going to continue to do more experiments. So far, we haven't had a lot of test subjects who were natural like this. Simon was a, a natural bodybuilder who's been training for many years, very experienced. So he knows how things impact his body. Uh, so he was the perfect test, and he's not on anything. He's not on any supplements. So he was the perfect test subject to isolate exactly what 3AD does in his body. And uh, the last thing I would have expected would have been a 43% increase in testosterone, but that's what we're seeing from the lab work.